Hi everyone, in this video we will see how running calculation works and how it can be used. So here we have a subcategory and the total sales here. In the second column of total sales, we will just again change back it to none so that the only total sales is visible. Okay, here the categorization that is the sorting is according to the number of uh, total number of sales in descending order. Let us change it as of now. So instead of sales, we will have a sorting based on the subcategory. Okay, based on the subcategory, we will get it sorted. So now we got a table with subcategories arranged in ascending order that is from A to Z total number of sales in each category. Okay. Now what is in the running calculation? We will just edit this second column of total sales and when we come down after comparison calculation there is something called running calculation. If we click the running calculation of running sum then running sum of this whole data is calculated. What is running sum? So this is the first category of null that is the category is not labeled. So uh, unlabeled category total sales is uh, for 6700 okay the same is reflected here. Then accessories the total sales is for 1.8 lakhs. So running sum is nothing but till this level what is the total number of sales will be calculated. So 1 lakh 86,000 plus 6,000 so 1 lakh 93,000 is the total sales. Similarly if you are taking in this level okay so till copies if you are taking the total sales of copies is 3 lakhs whereas the total sales up to chairs that is 7th row is 15 lakhs. So the running calculation corresponding to copies will be 15 lakhs plus 3 lakhs which is equal to 18 lakhs. So running calculation is nothing but uh, at any row we are taking it is going to calculate the total sum of sales till that level. So this is how running sum works okay. Similarly other things are there we will see how see here we have running minimum running minimum also simply means that till any level we are considering what is the minimum value till that level. So for example uh, here the first value is 85,000 till this level the minimum value is 85,000 and here the value is 1 lakh uh, 3000 till here the minimum value is 85,000. So we get the running minimum is 85,000. Let us take here uh, the 10th row envelope. So till here uh, the minimum value till here is say this is 68. If you consider all these then again the minimum value is the 68. So the running minimum is 68,000. If you consider the 11th row uh, here the value is 3 lakh 1000 till this the minimum value is here that is 68,000. So this 68,000 is the running minimum. Okay. Similarly there are other options like running maximum. So till a particular level what is the maximum value? is calculated and it is shown in the running maximum. For example, till this level, till this third row, till this third row, the maximum value is third row itself. So 4 lakh 11,000 is the running maximum. Whereas the fourth row, the maximum, uh, the value is 3 lakhs 5,000 and considering all these four rows, the maximum is the third row that is 4 lakh 11,000 that is given here. So this is running maximum. Similarly, you can have running count, running average and running delta. Running delta is nothing but the difference, okay, the difference from that value and the previous value. So the un, uh, tables category has sales of 85,000, supplies category has sales of 1,3,000. So this 1,3,000 minus 85,000 is the delta value, running delta value that is 18,000. Similarly, this 4,11,000 minus 8,3000 is 3,8000 which is the running delta value for this row. So the, the difference between the current subcategory sales and the previous subcategory sales gives the running delta value of the latest row. Okay. So this is how running calculations are being calculated in Google Data Studio. 
होप आई एम क्लियर लेट्स कैचअप इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो मॉडल थैंक यू